Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were abandoned, kind of, on Sailor's Island. Let's have a little look around. They say a lot of black pirates have been seen in the area lately. Black pirates are extremely evil outlaws who steal gold and kidnap women. You better watch out, okay? Well, alrighty then. But before we do that... We need to work out how to catch this guy. And I'm not 100% sure how to catch this guy. Um, 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 um. Oh. 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 Hello. There he is. Got the bastard. Moonfish was caught. Right, I've printed out about 700,000 uh, reams of paper here. Moonfish 1, Pirate Islands. Go to the very bottom of the underground ship dock. Ah, Pirate Islands. So we need to go back there. Moonfish 2, Sailor's Island. Stand on the ledge next to the tavern and look above to find this one. Alright. Nope, that was Moonfish 3, apparently. Okay. I should have been more prepared, but, you know, it's me, so... Uh, Moonfish 3, we have got. Next to the girl, Moonfish 3. Got ya. Whoop. So, Moonfish 2, stand on the ledge next to the tavern and look above you. Alright, well, we'll do that. Moonfish 2. Alright, stand on the ledge. So, next to the tavern, you say. Hmm. Is that a chest? You received 200 gold. Excellent. So I think that's all the chests here. We've got both the chests. One of the moonfish. Alright. So, there's still another one to get. Now, if I was a tavern, where would I be? Because apparently that's not the tavern. Or is it? That's the lighthouse. Yeah, we'll have a look in the lighthouse also here. Why not? Any goodies down here? Hmm, this must be where they store stuff. Doesn't look like the sun reaches in here, so it's cool and dark. Well, okay. Let's go up this ladder, shall we? Have a little poke around. Might as well, whilst we're here. Yeah, there's so much stuff in this game to collect. It's kind of insane. But that's okay. That's what we're here for. Nice little lookout. Ooh. Oh, we can see the whole... Ah, look, there's the bastard there. Little moonfish. Got ya. Well, we'll go deal with that now. As I'm pretty sure... We've got three repair kits. Um... So we've got a chest behind the billboards, apparently. Anyway, so nice shout out to the games librarian for sending me this 100% completionist checkbook. So apparently as soon as we come in, I can't remember if we've got that chest. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Behind here, apparently. Ah, there it is. We did not. Repair kit times three. Cool. That's all the chests here. Now that those repair kits are used. Ah, there you are. Come to daddy, Moonfish. Yeah, those repair kits are basically healing crystals, but for your ship. Uh, that's the tavern, so we don't want to worry about that just yet. You know what? Actually, we will. Let's go see if Drachma is in here. See if he's being the same old miserable bastard self. He is indeed in here. Every time I come back to Sailor's Island, my first stop is always Polly's Palace, or Polly's Place, I should say. Her cooking is just so good. Ah, all it takes is one meal, and I feel totally refreshed for my next journey, no matter what it is. All right, buddy. Plundering, probably. This guy seems like he really likes a good meal. Doesn't everybody? It looks like he spends all of his profits on food. It's hard to tell whether he eats to sell or he sails to eat. Well, there's probably a little bit of both. 
and come right in. Welcome to Polly's place. The specialities uh, of the house are steam baked um, maracas and ocean style meat pies. Then there's Polly's own special mistral loca. All right. Oh, and I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Polly's daughter, and I hope to see you around. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Female sailor. This island is a gathering spot for sailors and traders. Keep your ears open, and you'll hear all sorts of interesting rumors and information. Right, I shall remember that. You must be new around here. I don't recognize your face. Well, I hope you make yourself at home here. My tavern is your tavern. Excellent. Does this mean I get a share in the profits as well? Probably not. So I don't know what one of these ocean meat pies are, but I am intrigued. Better not be full of fish. Hey, Captain. Can we talk to you a minute? I have nothing to talk to you kids about. Get lost. Yeah, well, fuck you too, I guess. Okay, cool. So, Captain Drachma's not interested in talking. Ah, uh, this was the item shop, wasn't it? I don't think we really need anything here. Welcome to my shop. Care to purchase anything? Uh, let's talk. Sailor's Island is a great trading port. That's why we get new wares to sell every once in a while. So, you should check back here every now and again and see what new stuff we have on sale. Since new trade routes are opening nowadays, you never know what sorts of things we'll have on sale here. Sometime later. I get it. We're going to come back. Uh, right, what do you have? You've basically got shit. Let's get another 10 crystals, I guess. It's only 200. Sure. Right, we've got 41 healing crystals. I mean, that will certainly keep us going for a while. Alright, let's get out of here. So, next... We have sailing supplies or something? Might be weapons, I don't know. Ship parts merchant. Ah! Hey there, big guy! How's the sailing going? This sh is a ship parts shop specializing in big guns and stuff. But actually, I just run out of stock. I'm waiting for the next shipment to arrive. So I'm a little bored right now. Why don't you stay and talk for a while? I don't have anything better to do, and I might have some information that might interest you. Ah, uh, go on, um. Oh, bite. So tell me, what's this information that you have? I'm glad you asked, big guy. It's something I heard from a sailor on his way back from Valia. He says that ship parts mentioned in Valia has started selling a cannon they call the Harpoon Cannon. It's some sort of giant spear-like weapon that they mount on the front of your ship, and it's connected by a rope or something. And from what I hear, because there's a rope attached, you can just reel that spear thing bang onto your ship. It saves money on ammo. I expect it packs a real punch with a weapon like that. Even a small ship could probably hold its own against larger ships. A harpoon cannon. Huh. You know, we might just be able to use this information to try and convince Captain Drachma to take us to Volia. Yeah, maybe. Harpoon cannon seems like a useful item, I suppose. Right, let's have a little look in the weapon shop. Oh, God. Pinta. I'm Pinta, and I travel the skies looking for all sorts of equipment. Ah, I live my life searching for exotic and rare things. My dream is to collect all of the rare items in the world. Every last one of them. Wow, all the items in the world? You've got big dreams for such a little fella. My dream is to sail all around the world someday. I know just how you feel. We both have really big goals. I think we'll get along just fine. You're a dreamer, like myself. Yep, we both got big dreams. And now we just got to concentrate on making our dreams come true, right? Of course. Well, you take care. Don't be a stranger if you're ever in town again. Yeah, so on the Dreamcast, he's the guy that you could uh, send out on your VMU and collect treasure. It's kind of a cool minigame, actually. Welcome. This is a weapon and armor shop. All right. Let's chat. Most weapons here are made with moonstones and are made so they react with other moonstones. So if you obtain a moonstone of a new color, you can change your weapon to that color and change the properties of your weapon. 
Okay, that was a lot of words to say not a lot. What have you got? Sky Cutlass, Hook Hand. Hmm, wonder who that's going to be for. Uh, sailor uniform. We need some... Yeah, that mystic dress is actually not too bad, but I'd rather get the two sailor. Two sailor uniforms, I think. Well, the hook hand, I guess we could go for that. We can get the sky cutlass as well. Because it's better than what we have. Alright. Uh, we'll get the hook hand because... Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get the hook hand. Because maybe, just maybe, there might be a character somewhere that has a mechanical hand. Maybe. And we can use that. Thanks. Come again. Make sure to check back here now and again. See what new weapons and armor I have in stock. Look at that big shit-eating grin he's got. Okay. So. Let's just sell that other sword that we have. Uh, ah, fuck's sake. That's way too sensitive, this menu. Sell, and we want to sell the pirate cutlass. There we go. Good shit. Right, well, let's take our leave. We'll be back here. We need to grind out a lot of weapons and ammo. Or should I say, we need to grind out lots of weapons and ammo? The fuck am I talking about, honestly? I don't even know anymore. We, of course, need to grind out lots of money, which we'll do uh, another time off camera. Oi, Drachma, miserable bastard. I've got some information for you. Captain Drachma. Will you stop calling me that? You don't sail with me anymore, therefore I'm no longer your captain. Really? Oh, that's too bad. I heard about a cannon that might be able to take out uh, Ragnam. But since you're no longer sailing with us, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. What did you say? Um, we're going to beat around the bush. You know, I was amazed when I saw Ragnam. I've never seen an Arkwell that big before. I used to think that he was indestructible. Until I knew there was a cannon that could destroy him. But you're not sailing with us anymore. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. Gee, Ica. I'd do anything for a ride to Valua. I wonder who can get us there. Are you trying to bargain with me, boy? Well, since you put it so eloquently, if we're going to give you the information that will help you, we expect you to help us. Huh. Now that I think about it, I remember hearing something like that. Some value and soldiers passing through here were talking about it one day. They said it had enough power to destroy a small island. Holly, I hope you aren't taking their side and lying to me. When, Dracula, have I ever lied to you, huh? Hmm. And besides, I can tell these kids aren't lying by the looks in their eyes. I've been running this tavern for 20 years, Dracula. I know people. I can spot cheats and liars. These children are neither. Alright. I won't get my hopes up. But I'll take you to Valia anyway. What? That means? Uh, if you want to go, you'll have to work the entire way. But I'll take you there. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Captain, you're the best. And thank you too, Polly. Thank you for believing us. Huh. Don't sweat it. When you're done with your adventure, come back and tell us about it. This crusty old bunch is dying for some fresh tales. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's the least I can do. 
<laughs> All right, but be careful. Vanya isn't known for their hospitality. They usually shoot first and ask questions later. She's right. Also, we need an entry passport to get in. Unfortunately, I don't have one, but I'm sure someone here on Sailor's Island has one. Valiant passport, huh? Alright, let's go look for one. Captain Drachma. Alright, not bad, guys. Drachma has uh, joined our party. Fantastic. Uh, right, Drachma, you need a new weapon. Artificial arm. Yeah, that puts his attack up by eight. Nice. I'll take it. Anything more is better. Apart from when it's not. Alright, so we need a passport, you say. It's so good, yeah. Yeah, well, he doesn't have one. Ah, wait, I think I vaguely remember where to get one. Let's just sell this weapon again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's a weapon and armor shop. That's fine. Let's sell this crusty old artificial arm. Nice. And let's get out of here. Look at that dude's shit-eating grin, man. He's on a scam and he knows he is. Can we really not do anything with you in this version? Oh, hey, Vase. How's the sailing been going? Have you traveled around the world yet? And no, not quite yet. You'll be the first to know when we make it all the way around the world, probably. Right, I think if we... Ah, this dodgy looking chap here. Lawrence. I've got no use for you if you don't have any money. Do not bother me. Hmm, maybe we need to go grind up some money. Well, that's... Oh, we can't leave yet. Got to find a way into value first. All right, well, maybe there's some dodgy sort in here. Oi, you. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Nope, he's not going to tell us anything. What about you, friend? Is this the Sailor's Guild? I need some information. Oh, if you have any questions about sailing, you're in the right place. I need to get a value in passport sometime uh, soon. Do you know how I could do this? Hmm. A value in passport soon, huh? Well, that might be a little difficult. After the initial application, there's an intensive background check, and that could take up to a full lunar cycle. We can't just sit around for a, a lunar cycle. You're the guildmaster here, right? Can't you make a fake passport or something? No, 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 no way. If anyone's caught making or carrying a fake passport, they're executed on the spot. So, what you're saying is that all we have to do is not get caught, right? Or, if we do get caught, we have all we have to do is escape. I don't want the Evaluans after me. If I make a fake and you get caught, they might be able to trace it back to me. Then, I'm a dead man. You call yourself a guildmaster, huh? You're just a Valiant puppet. Let's go find someone else. Um, excuse me. So, you're looking for a Valiant passport, eh? I was in Valiant business and now I'm on my way home. I don't need this one anymore. I have but one request to ask of you. And the passport is yours. Alright, calm down, Ica. Let's, let's see what he's, where he's going with this. Really? You have a passport? What do you want? Anything. Ask us anything. I'm a merchant from the kingdom of Nassar. Nassar is located on a desert island to the east of here. I've heard rumours that the black pirate Boltor has been seen in the skies near there. Boltor, huh? I've heard of him. He's ruthless. He attacks unarmed ships and steals their cargo. And what I wanted to ask of you was, well, if you could escort me back to Nassar. If you get me safely to Nassar, then I'll give you the passport when we arrive. I think it's an even trade. Yes? 
We accept your offer. Uh -huh. It's a deal. You accept? You're wise beyond your years, young one. Just leave it to us. We'll protect you. Yeah. Well, if we want to get to value, I suppose we have no choice. I shall be waiting for you at the docks. Alright, we'll finish up here and meet you at the Little Jack. Before you guys leave, make sure to check out the wanted list. It's a list of all the most wanted black pirates that have bounties put on them. That pirate you talking about, Boltor, the black bearded, is on that list too. Defeat any of those swine and report it to the Sailor's Guild and you'll receive a bounty. So, if you defeat Boltor, report it to the Sailor's Guild, you'll get paid handsomely. We also get news of new bounties and add them to our wanted list. So, drop by every so often and check it out to see if it's been updated. Okay. Seems reasonable. Let's have a little look how much Boltor's ass is worth. Yeah, we know who you are. Yes, 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 yes. Right, wanted list. He is known for attacking towns and ships throughout the mid-ocean area. He is known for a lack of mercy. His favourite tactic is to weaken his enemies using the Blackbeard, his ship, before boarding to loot. Beware the power of his ship's cannons. Hmm. 1,000 gold. Not bad. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, sure. In every port of any size, you'll always find a branch officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Right, let's head to the ship. Hopefully we're stopped and ready to go. Uh, let's return to our ship for now. Okay. Now where is this Blackbeard fellow? You see that stone reef straight ahead? Nassar is the desert land, just beyond that reef. However, normal ships cannot pass through the reef, therefore you must fly alongside of it and go straight for a while. Eventually, you'll see the southern Daniel Strait, a valley-like area between two islands. So just fly along the reef and head due east. Huh? Alright, let's move. Alright, dude. Well, let's give it a save because we don't exactly want to be blasted out of the sky by this uh, pirate. Right, let's go to adventure. This guy should stay behind us. More or less, anyway. Keep our eyes out for discoveries. Well, plain sailing so far. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Black Pirate Bolter's ship, the Blackbeard. Looks fucking cool. Captain Boltor, there's a NASA merchant ship coming into view off port side. But there's a strange ship following it very closely. I don't recognize its markings. Yeah, <laughs> you have nothing to fear from that old ship. Let's introduce these fools to the true meaning of fear. They will know that I, Boltor, sent them plummeting to their deaths. Alright men, battle stations. Don't let them escape. And take everything on board that isn't nailed down. Eh, yeah, come get some. Vase, there's a ship straight ahead, heading right for us. I see a black skull and they're black pirates! So that's Boltor, huh? What should we do, Captain? We're vastly outnumbered. Don't let them board us. We'll fight it out from a distance. Ready the cannons! If you see them attack, you'll want to go into evasive maneuvers. Then, when they're in your sights, blast them. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's rip them to shreds, sir. Right, here we go. Ship combat. This is such a cool and unique part of this game. <laughs> How'd you like that? Feel the power of my ship, the Blackbeard. 
Now I shall teach you to tremble in fear before the power of the black pirates. <laughs> Listen up, boy. At the top of the screen, there's a three times three grid will appear. This is your input command screen. Think of it as a time gauge of sorts. Each turn is divided into three parts. For each part of each turn, you, Ica, or I can input one command. Right, so we're going to attack main cannon. Then we're going to get... Ah, oh, then we're out of uh, turns. We're out of power, aren't we? Alright, well. Let's give him a volley with the main cannon. Ah, oh, we missed. Son of a bitch. Yeah, now... Ooh. The um, the problem with the ship battles is they do go on a bit. Oh, we're taking a pounding. Absolute lashing, but that's okay. Let's focus some power. We do get significantly better ships later on. That ship does look cool, though. Alright, focus. That gives us a good amount of uh, spirit to use. Every once in a while, you'll see a column with a C in the top of the grid. During that turn, you'll have a tactical advantage over your opponent. Concentrate all of your fi uh, firepower into that round. Also, certain turns have different colours shown at the top. These are the turns in which your enemy is going to unleash a powerful attack. Make sure you're to use your guard command effectively. Right, okay, so what we can do here, we can item, repair kit. How much does... That uh, heals 4,000 health, so that's not a terrible idea. And then, we'll use the main cannon. There. And we're going to guard there. Right, let's let rip with the cannon. Oh, God, that hurts. Now, we don't have a nice primary weapon yet. Oh, nice, he missed. Yeah, that'll sting. Oh, that hurt. Even with the evasive action, that hurt. Huh, he's good. Hard turn to starboard. Let's try and maneuver behind him. Something's not right, Captain. Looks like he's preparing for something. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. He looks like he's going to try and get behind us. Most ships have their engines in the back, and that makes them more vulnerable from behind. But if he tries to get behind us in the meantime, he'll be wide open. What do you want to do, boy? Hmm. Let's try and get behind him instead. Now's our chance. He won't be expecting us to try and maneuver around to his backside. Well. Good job, boy. His ship doesn't have any cannons in the back. We've got a wide open shot at his engines. Excellent. So we're going to go... Main cannon. Main cannon. Main cannon. Whilst he assesses the damage. Oh, that hurt. Give him another one. Come on, put around clean through that hole. Oh, yeah, he's feeling that. Prepare.
preparing for an attack. This could hurt. Ooh, he's done. He is done. That was a lucky hit. Must have been a critical. Get fucked. 300 gold? Not bad. Not bad at all. Captain Stripe and a bomb. I'll take it. And that's a thousand gold bounty as well. Blast! You were lucky this time, but I will hunt you down and have my revenge. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. This, I swear on the code of the Black Pirates, you will rule the day. You cross paths with me, and somebody put out that fire. Vice, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, what did you do that for, Captain? We're not there yet, you idiot. Never take your hands off the wheel until we come to a complete stop. Yeah, you idiot. Why don't you watch what you're doing? It's a good thing Captain Drachma is here to keep you in line. I care. Why, you little... <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. You just defeated Boltar, uh, Boltar the Scary. Why don't you lighten up a little bit? We're almost there. Get ready. Yeah, not bad for a kind of a hastily thrown together crew, I guess. That reminds me, you should have received something called a Captain Stripe. You'll receive one for every major battle that you win. It's sort of like a trophy. If you use a Captain Stripe, it will make your ship stronger. I see. Thanks for the advice, Captain. Yeah, I don't know whether I want to use one or if I'm going to keep them um, to power up our ship. We will uh, figure that one out later on. But anyway, guys, we're actually on half an hour now, so I think it's as good a time as any to give it a save. And when we come back, we're going to take uh, our friend here back to his hometown. And we're going to get what we need. And then, before we go to Valua, if the game allows us anyway, we're going to do a little bit more exploring. Because we've got a few little things to, to collect. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.